Okay, I love Mondays. Monday is my Saturday. Yes, Monday is my Saturday. The reason why, because I think it's like game day. I was a college athlete and a college coach and I love that feeling, that rush. And I know you know what I can, uh, uh, that you can relate. You're, you're either a mom who cuts up those orange slices for your little athlete, or you were an athlete, or you have kids that are, that are athletes. They get out there on their little league games or their soccer field or their basketball court on Saturdays. Maybe they're the cheerleader, but the idea is that they're excited, they're pumped up. And sometimes on Mondays, I need to pump myself up. And I know that's you too, okay, in some regards. So I'm gonna tell you that to win a game, and you know this to be true, that you only have to have one point more than the other team, okay? One point more than the other team, that's it, to win. So how are you gonna win in three areas of your life today? Okay, the first area, it's your fitness. All right, first of all, you all you have to do is one thing better than you did yesterday. If you did nothing, then just get out and do a 15 minute walk, okay? If you feel like you did a 15 minute walk, but now you wanna up your game a little bit more, then maybe it's 15 minutes of stretching or strengthening push up some, some push, pull ups. Maybe, you know what, you did your Insanity Max 30 and you did 10 minutes awesome yesterday, but now you're gonna add two more minutes on. Maybe that's it. Okay, so just do one thing more than you did yesterday in your fitness. Okay, if it's in your work, what can you do better? Sometimes to make myself feel pumped up before I can start um, really moving the needle, I need to move the needle in someone else's life because when I see someone have a transformation, it makes me feel like, yes, all right? So reaching out to somebody in your work life, ex talking to them, maybe it's a mentor and saying, you know what? You've made a difference in my life because of this one thing. That's it, just one thing. Maybe it's reaching out to a client and saying, you know what? I've noticed this, um, this one thing about your success and breathing life and belief in them makes you feel good because it, it internalizes that, 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 um, that thing that you're going, trying to elicit to them. It, it's almost like holding up a mirror and you believe it. Or maybe it's you're reaching out to a client and you're going to be saying, how can I support you better today? Just something like that. In your fitness, in your business, and now we're gonna talk about in your mindset. What can you do as you roll around and roll into the holidays and you might be feeling kind of like depressed a little bit after Thanksgiving or maybe you know somebody that's a little bit depressed or you have been in that like down cycle because you got those peaks and those valleys in your life. What can you do with your mindset? You, I can tell you one thing, you have to physically change your environment. One thing, if you, you normally wake up, grab your coffee, head over to the laptop, open it up and check emails. That's a, that's a buzzkill on a Monday. Shut that thing down, all right? Go outside and do five jumping jacks, breathing in the cold air and just say, I'm awesome, okay? Seriously, do it. Are you gonna go do that? If that's not your, your, the thing, your email and the first thing in the morning, then maybe it's driving to work. You get in your car, you drive to work, you have the commute. Here's what I want you to do differently this time. Pop in. Instead of listening to pop radio or, or you're listening to a talk radio, listen to a podcast. Download it on your iPhone. One of my favorites is Brendan Burchard, okay? Check that one out, okay? Um, and B-U-R-C-H-A-R-D, all right? So make your Monday your Saturday. 